Meet the future of clocks. I built this from scratch and now it's the centerpiece of my room. This is not just a clock. It's a glowing masterpiece of light, precision and code. Let's see how I build it. For this project, we are using Vimo's D1 Mini Microcontroller. It has 80 kilobytes RAM and 4 megabytes flash memory, suitable for lightweight IoT applications. We will need DS3231I2C RTC module to sync our clock with actual time. We are also using OLED screen to display time on it. However, it is not necessary to use for this project. We will display actual time and date on the screen. We have already used this screen in our previous projects. Please watch our old videos for more information. And this is the main character of our project. WS2812 60-bit RGB LED NeoPixel ring. This LED ring comes with four separate parts, which you have to join by soldering VCC, ground and data points together as shown here. Don't solder last data in point with data out point as it will become zero LED point in our project. We will also need some jumper wires, crocodile pins and breadboard for installation. And here is the wiring diagram of our project. First take our Vimos D1 mini microcontroller and install it on the breadboard. Now take OLED screen and install on the breadboard. Keep enough empty points on the top side. Now take red jumper wire and connect 3.3 volt pin of the microcontroller to VCC pin of the OLED screen. Now take black jumper wire and connect ground pin of the controller to ground pin of the OLED screen. Now take blue jumper wire and connect SDA pin of the OLED screen to D2 pin of the microcontroller. Now take green jumper wire and connect a CL pin of the OLED screen to D1 pin of the microcontroller. Now we will connect DS3231 RTC module in parallel with OLED screen. Take red jumper wire and connect one end to VCC pin of the screen. Connect one end of the black jumper wire to ground pin. Take green jumper wire and connect to SDA pin of the screen. Take blue jumper wire and connect to SCL pin of the screen. Now it's time to connect RTC module in parallel with the screen. Connect VCC of the screen to positive pin of the module. Connect ground to ground pin of the module. SDA pin to SDA pin of the module and 
SEL pin to SEL pin of the module. Check wiring diagram for better understanding. Now take red jumper wire and connect one in two 5 volt pin of the microcontroller. Take green jumper wire and connect one in two D4 pin of the microcontroller. Take common ground from the screen. So our NeoPixel ring connections are ready. Now take red crocodile pin and connect one end to 5 volt pin of the microcontroller. Connect one end of the black pin to ground of the microcontroller and one end of green pin to D4 pin of the microcontroller. Now we will connect NeoPixel ring to the microcontroller. Connect red pin to VCC point of the ring, black pin to ground point of the ring and green pin to data in point of the ring. With this, all our connections are completed. We recommend you to use capacitor and register as per wiring diagram. You can customize your watch cover using 3D printed parts. Now we are ready to flash the code to the microcontroller, but first, let's see the sketch. So this is the sketch of our NeoPixel clock. You will need Adafruit NeoPixel library to run a LED ring. We will need ESP8266 Wi-Fi library to connect to the internet. We will also need Wi-Fi server library to run online configuration portal. Then we will need RTC library for our DT3231 module. We will need supporting library, Adafruit GFX as well as Adafruit SSD library for OLED screen. Here we are defining pin D4 for the NeoPixel ring and total numbers of the LEDs ring has. Here is the resolution defined of the OLED screen. Here in this part, you have to enter your Wi-Fi credentials. In this section, we have default colors of the digits and hands. And from this section, we are initializing NeoPixel ring. Here we have some exciting animations on the boot of the ring. Then we will initializing RTC module and OLED screen. Then we will try to connect to the Wi-Fi. If connection established, then green LED will flash three times along with IP address will be displayed in the serial monitor, showing web server started message. And then in the loop section, we will start RTC, OLED and web server services. In the next code, we have marked our hand position along with calculations and set colors of each hands to display selected color even in the low brightness settings. We used gamma corrections as shown in the code. And then we will display date and time on the OLED screen as shown here.
Here we have codes for our online portal where you can change colors of the hands and digits, set brightness as well as live display of the time. All changes will be reflected immediately. Here we have made function for the gamma correction to properly display colors in low brightness. Now here we have some cool functions to display on different events like boot sequence, connection to Wi-Fi, searching Wi-Fi, pulsating LED function and display progress of the connection. So with this our sketch is now ready to be flashed to the controller. Select the board and port number and hit upload button to flash the code to the microcontroller. Once the sketch uploaded successfully, open serial monitor and check the IP address of the web server. You can access web server to modify settings of your clock. And now it's showtime. And now it's your time. Build the clock for your room and share your feedback with us. If you like this video then, like, share and subscribe to our channel. I am DHK Dude, signing off.